Imagine high tech, imagine bright lights, imagine a world where children delight. Enchantment and wonder guiding your way through a children's museum where you learn as you play. Upon arrival, I met Karen Kelly, who guided me on an imaginative journey through the Children's Museum, letting me take a few fun breaks along the way. All right, right when I walk in, I cannot help but notice the ball machine. The ball machine is <laughs> awesome. This ball machine behind us has the six simple machines that are in every complicated one. Levers, pulleys, wheels and axles, and climb planes. And it even uses water and wind power to move balls around. But more importantly, it uses kid and mom power and dad power. <laughs> Moms are hard at work here. Getting, Moms are hard at work here getting putting the balls, them in. putting them in the chutes, getting them up the plane, gathering them up. So they all get to our very fun crane that the kids can move the crane around and um, dump the balls into the bin. Over there you see the mom moving the balls, uh -huh. helping them move and helping them get up to the tubes, up to the grates, all around the ball machine. You know, when I was a kid, I always wanted something like this in my room. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I know I can do it. I'll probably do it for my son. There you go. It shouldn't take, what, maybe a day? You think you need I could put this together in a day. <laughs> Seems like every one of these exhibits, it's not just throwing them together to do something fun. There's a lot of thought that goes into each one. There is. It's a lot of thought. A lot of educators give feedback. A lot of parents give feedback as we're developing new exhibits. And now we're in our Morph Gallery, and we have three different exhibits that come in every year. And each of the exhibit has different fun educational goals. We are now at our great shipping truck. And what's really fun is to watch the kids gather all the fruit and vegetables and groceries they can find, put them in a box, get on the loading, the, the forklift, and then ride it down the conveyor belt. And they'll do this for a long time, just shipping and moving the food around, moving it through the chain of production. But they don't even know they're creating a chain of production. They're just having a great time. They're working hard. They're, they're working hard paid. over there. Now we've gotten to where even younger kids can play. Right. This is our, t our really to and under area. So you take your shoes off, the kids get down on the floor, they can crawl, they can taste, check different senses, they can feel how things are soft or hard or huge Ooh. like this caterpillar here <laughs> all right. um, and it makes different sounds either it crinkles this one crunches in the middle there's all kinds of blocks and toys to build and play with and as you know a lot of little kids put things in their mouths so we have a special teddy bear over there where the kids can put the dirty toys and then we get out the clean ones Welcome to Leaping Into Learning. This is where our five and unders really have a fun time playing without being maybe um, bumped into by the big kids. Yeah. They learn all the very important skills for life, including how to catch a magnetic fish. Hey! Ta-da! It's like this big. It's like this it's big. Great. That's right, it's huge. It's my fishing story later will be, it was this big. <laughs> and I caught a shark. You so caught a shark? Awesome. One of the cool parts here is the sandbox. It's part of the Let Your Creativity Flow exhibit. But I tell you, it's not just like regular sand. This is more like Play-Doh. Grab it. Look at that. Look how that clumps together. Nice little ball. You can create anything with it. This is my kind of sand. One of the things I want to tell you about is, as part of our kids' art and all the things in the museum meet Georgia performance and early learning standards. And one of the things we try to do is get kids to learn those standards like math and science different ways, like through art. This art exhibit uses all the shapes that kids are supposed to learn for second grade in their art. So you have triangles and diamond shapes and circles. So the kids learn art and math at exactly the same time, and it reinforces both lessons and helps them explore their creative side in a fun way with math. Yeah, and there's a little vanity involved because yeah. they're displayed. That's in the right. Museum. And That's how cool great. to have your art on display in the museum as Very well. Cool. Yeah. There are five year round exhibits and always a couple of rotating exhibits. So the experience is always changing, including the feature show put on by the Museum Imaginators. The Imaginators are wonderful. They are actor educators. They all have night gigs as actors, but in the daytime they're here, they're engaged, they create wonderful programs for the kids. They even write their own mini musicals. In the background, you can hear some of the music from our latest mini musical, but every time we bring in a new exhibit, we write a new musical for it. So the kids get a new experience and they get to be a part of the acting. They get to come up on stage and help the Imaginators make the play work. I took the Imaginator role to heart and ended up trying my hand at becoming a fireman or a traffic cop or whatever. I really don't remember what I was trying to achieve here. Did I do it right? Can you show me how to do this right? Located near Centennial Park, right across the street from the world of Coca-Cola and the Georgia Aquarium, the Imaginate Children's Museum of Atlanta awaits your exploration.
And parents, be sure to join in the fun, because this is one place in town where it's okay to be a kid for a day. This is what I have made. Nice. What nice is rock. it? It's a rock. It's, it is a rock. 